When Joe Biden, the former president of the United States, was diagnosed with prostate cancer at 82, many were left asking, how could this happen despite being screened just a decade earlier at 72? How did he go from a clean screening to aggressive cancer in just 10 years? And more importantly, could this diagnosis be a wake-up call for how we approach prostate cancer screening in general? Let's discuss the truth about prostate cancer screening and more importantly, how we can prevent it. Right now, with some exceptions, current guidelines recommend that men get screened for prostate cancer between the ages of 55 and 69. But what if these age-based guidelines aren't enough? And what does this mean for men who may not fit into that age bracket? Let's take a look at what the latest research says about prostate cancer screening and limitations and why Joe Biden's case might suggest it's time for a rethink. Prostate cancer screening usually involves the PSA test. But PSA levels can be tricky, sometimes elevated for reasons other than cancer, like infections, medications, prolonged bicycle ride, or even recent sexual activity. These nuances often lead to false positives and unnecessary anxiety. But there is another issue. Some cancers grow very slowly, which means Many men may be diagnosed with cancer that won't affect their lives, while others like Joe Biden may face more aggressive forms later on. Now, what is it about a high PSA that turns out to be a false alarm? You're not alone. In this video, I will also share little note tips even most doctors skip to help you avoid false PSA spikes. Stick around, as this could save you weeks of unnecessary stress. Joe Biden's case, a wake-up call. Former President Joe Biden's diagnosis at 82 challenges the common belief that men need to start screening at 55. Why did he wait 10 years? Well, if you are past 70, Current guidelines often exclude routine screening. What if this approach is missing an important piece? Screening could save lives, but waiting too long might not give you enough time to act as we now see in the case of Joe Biden with advanced metastatic prostate cancer. And should we be rethinking the age guidelines for prostate cancer screening? Experts say that the risk of prostate cancer increases with age, but is waiting until you are 55 or older too late for some men to catch the disease in time? Clearly, with early detection, treatment options are more effective, but prevention is even better. Instead of focusing purely on lifespan, we should consider health span, that is, the period of life where we are healthy and free from chronic diseases. As we age, the focus should not just be about living longer, but living better. Early detection of prostate cancer can lead to better treatment options, and even slow-growing cancers can become more manageable if detected early, thereby improving our health span and lifespan. Now, let's pause for a moment. Should we push for earlier, more frequent screenings, or should we focus more on the quality of life rather than simply how long we live? What are expert opinion on new screening guidelines for prostate cancer? Well, Many experts are now calling for updated screening guidelines. According to the American Cancer Society, men who are at higher risk, such as black men, 
or those with a family history of prostate cancer may need to start screening earlier around age 40. Could we soon see an overhaul of these guidelines to focus on health span? And what would that mean for men who are at risk for more aggressive forms of prostate cancer? Now, let's focus on something that is not talked about enough. Prostate cancer prevention. While screening is important, lifestyle choices could be your first line of defense. In fact, studies show that making certain lifestyle changes can significantly lower your risk of developing prostate cancer. So, what are these lifestyle factors that can make a big difference? Let's break them down. 1. Plant-based diet One of the most powerful preventive tools is what's on your plate. A plant-based diet is packed with fiber, antioxidants, and compounds that can reduce the risk of prostate cancer. In fact, studies have shown that diets rich in fruits, vegetables, and whole grains can lower prostate cancer risk by reducing inflammation and supporting overall health. Interestingly, curcumin, the active compound in turmeric, a staple spice in Indian cooking, has been shown to have anti-inflammatory, antioxidant, and anti-cancer properties and has been suggested as a potential chemopreventive agent for prostate cancer. 2. Exercise The importance of physical activity can't be overstated. Regular exercise, whether it's walking, jogging, or strength training, has been proven to reduce the risk of prostate cancer by maintaining healthy hormone levels and reducing inflammation. Men who stay active are less likely to develop aggressive forms of the disease. It's all about boosting your head span, not just your lifespan. 3. Green tea and lycopene Now let's talk about some powerful superfoods. Green tea contains catechins like EGCG, which are proven to reduce cancer cell growth. Similarly, tomatoes which are high in lycopene and antioxidant have been shown to lower the risk of prostate cancer by protecting the prostate cells from oxidative damage. Guess what? Cooked tomatoes, such as in tomato paste or sauce, enhance lycopene absorption. Clearly, lifestyle and dietary interventions can be part of an overall strategy to reduce the risk of prostate cancer. However, it's important to consult with a healthcare professional before making significant changes to your diet or exercise routine especially if you have a family history or at a higher risk. Now worried about getting a high PSA result that turns out to be a false alarm? As a board certified physician, I have seen it too often. Men walked into the clinic, get a PSA test and live with unnecessary anxiety from misleading results. The truth, many of these false positives could have been avoided with just a few simple precautions. Before you get your PSA tested, there are a few critical but rarely discussed steps that can significantly reduce your chances of a false elevation. First, avoid ejaculation for 48 to 72 hours before the test as sexual activity can elevate PSA, especially in men over 50. Second, refrain from vigorous cycling, horseback riding, or similar perennial pressure activities for 48 to 72 hours. This can irritate the prostate and mimic pathological PSA elevation. Third, 
do not have a digital rectal exam or prostate massage just before the PSA test. Schedule the PSA test before any urologic exam on the same day or separate them by several days. Fourth, postpone PSA testing if you have a urinary tract infection or prostatitis. It is advisable to wait for at least six weeks after symptoms resolve before testing. Fifth, avoid catheterization or other instrumentation of the urinary tract before the test. If unavoidable, consult your doctor to determine the optimal wait time, which is usually six weeks. Prostate cancer doesn't have to define your future. You have the power to take control of your health today. By making simple lifestyle changes like eating more plant-based diet, staying active, and incorporating cancer-fighting foods, you are already on the path to a healthier life. And remember, your health is personal. If you are ever unsure about your next step, don't hesitate to talk to your healthcare professional. They can provide the personalized advice you need to make informed decisions about your health and well-being. If you found this video helpful, like, share, and subscribe for more health and wellness tips. And if you have any questions or thoughts, drop them in the comment below. I'd love to hear from you. Remember, health isn't just about how long we live, but how well we live. Stay informed, stay proactive, and let's rethink the way we approach prostate cancer. Thanks for watching and take care of your health today.